What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is John and this is John Paul Investing. I wanted to reveal yet another use case for Nano Dimensions technology. This was brought to my attention by one of my viewers. His name is AI Singularity. AI, thank you so much again for bringing this to my attention. So this uh, mini presentation was released on Nano Dimensions uh, Twitter account and you can follow them at 3DPCB if you wanna stay up to date with uh, you know the latest and greatest nanotechnology news. I ended up opening this uh, presentation. All I did was put my uh, first name, last name, email, and uh, it takes you to this presentation. So what we are looking at here is a lab on a chip. So right now, this is the current driver in RNA and DNA sequencing. Lab on chip devices integrate laboratory functions, circuitry, and electrodes on a single integrated circuit, commonly called a chip, to achieve automation and high throughput screening. NanoDimension is offering a 3D printing system for dielectric and conductive inks with ultra-high precision, allowing cost-effective production of integrated lab-on-chip devices, as well as broader testing and controlling devices. So for those of you who don't know what a lab on a chip is, uh, still even after this mini little uh, summary, I did bring up another article which I will zoom in so you can see it better. A lab on a chip is a miniaturized device that integrates into a single chip one or several analysis, which are usually done in a laboratory. Analysis such as DNA sequencing or biochemical detection. Research on lab on a chip focuses on several applications, including human diagnostics, DNA analysis, and, to a lesser extent, the synthesis of chemicals. The miniaturization of biochemical operations normally handled in a laboratory has numerous advantages, such as cost efficiency, parallelization, ergonomics, diagnostic speed and sensitivity. The emergence of the lab on a chip field mainly relies on two core technologies, microfluidics and molecular biology. So this is basically just gonna be another way for you know nano dimension to uh, target an industry and just make that industry even more efficient. So I was not really aware that microfluidics was a thing. You know, the, the amount of applications that nano dimension has with their technology is still kind of mind boggling to me. So uh, the possibilities do seem endless. Lab on chip devices. With AME, there are additional design possibilities to optimize the device performance as the AME technology allows for free deposition of conductive material at any place of the device through 3D printing. This is a typo, due. Uh, due to the new process, you can prototype as many as 20 to 30 devices in one single print directly from a CAD file, Gerber or STL without the need for a mold and test your designs the very next day. You win many new degrees of freedom to optimize flow, separation, position, and shape of electrodes, and much more. The material has temperature resistance and enabling easy sterilization. So this is also something they've been working on. The main problem Nano Dimension was experiencing in their uh, boards as a whole was the uh, temperature resistance. But I feel like, you know, the more time passes, they're going to get better at making more temperature resistant boards, or in this case, uh, lab on chip devices. And just for an overview of the Dragonfly LDM system, for those of you who don't know, the build volume is 160 millimeters wide by 160 millimeters long by three millimeters tall. Mechanical accuracy of one micrometer, simultaneous jetting of silver and polymer enables freeform shapes and desired placement of electrodes. So overall, the additive manufacturing of electronics provides new solutions, lab on chip, RNA, DNA sequencing, PCR or polymerase chain reaction, and next generation life sciences. I'm not sure what uh, PCR is at all. AME produced devices are high precision parts that have excellent properties, such as high temperature resistance, dimensional stability, low surface roughness, low evaporation, chemical resistance, biocompatibility, low parasitic capacitance, and extreme flatness. So, you know, very small boards. So Nano Dimensions Silver Nanoparticle Conductive Ink was the winner of the ID Tech X Technical Development Materials Award in uh, 2018. And uh, they named it Silver Sight, and they have a trademark on it. This is based on pure silver particles, 80 nanometers, that have controlled characteristics like shape and particle distribution. This ensures that each batch of Silver Sight Nano Silver Ink can be suitable for a wide range of additive manufacturing applications while maintaining excellent conductivity and adhesion. And of course, we can't forget the dielectric ink. This is the uh, the material that's essentially everywhere else. This is the stuff that's not conductive and uh, makes the structure of the board. And on the next page, they have a bunch of specifications about their silver nano ink and the dielectric and a bunch of, you know, figures that I would not be able to tell you what they are. So any of my biotech or electricians watching, please let me know what exactly uh, these things are. I wish to know. So I just wanted to bring this to your attention because uh, I feel like this is something that could have very easily, uh, you know, slipped past us as far as, you know, news and presentation goes because Nano Dimension does post this stuff 
kind of under the radar unless you follow their socials and you know follow them closely with the newsletters and are subscribed which i am uh but they don't always send to every single thing so it is very wise to you know check up on them regularly which is also something that i try to do i mean overall this is just something else that i feel like nano dimension can capitalize on and it's just you know a, an entirely new market that they can you know attack and disrupt Nano Dimension is essentially going to be able to make a lot of these industries more profitable with the ease of uh, manufacturing. In the past, we would rely on, you know, etching, molds, but, you know, now thanks to Nano Dimension, we can just, you know, apply it in a certain area exactly where we want it, and then you can retain the rest of the material. The fact that it can save money and time is what makes Nano Dimension so valuable. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to get notified when I make videos just like this one. But anyways, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.